Many archaeological finds push scientists to their limits. Experts repeatedly come across ancient artifacts that simply do not fit into their time period. From an ancient block that looks like it came out of a modern 3D printer to a prehistoric nuclear reactor, here are six perplexing discoveries that still baffle experts. So stick with us until the end and see for yourself what exciting mysteries the past really has in store. Sometimes a single sentence is enough to make an archaeological mystery complete. In the case of the Sayawit monolith, that sentence is simply, the meaning of the images is unknown. All we know for sure is that this granite block measuring approximately 2.3 meters long and 2 meters high, which was once discovered near the ruins of Sayawite in southern Peru, from which it takes its name. And yet, it is not its massive dimensions that make this chunk of rock so remarkable, but the countless finely crafted details that adorn its surface. More precisely, the stone has been decorated with over 200 so-called high-relief images which shows us terraces, canals, and stairs, as well as animals such as frogs, snakes, and big cats. Since the monolith was found not far from the famous Inca site of Chocoaro, it's often associated with that civilization. However, the bottom line is that we cannot say with certainty which culture really left behind this stone testimony to history. The same applies to the original function of the artifact, which is why experts have to resort to theories. One theory suggests that the Sayawite monolith was a hydraulic model or a kind of simulation object used for planning, demonstration, or training in the field of water distribution. And given that the Incas had sophisticated water supply techniques, this interpretation is not only particularly surprising, but other researchers consider it more likely that the artistically designed surface depicts a mythical or idealized landscape with a religious or ritual background. In this context, the stone could have functioned as a cult object and been used in fertility or rain rituals. What is particularly confusing, however, is the fact that the Sayawite monolith stands out so clearly from other archaeological finds and that there are hardly any comparable relics in the entire Andean region. Given its breathtaking appearance, the alternative camp is naturally not shy about using terms such as lost advanced technologies. Conservative experts, on the other hand, are certain that the monolith could have been created using the stoneworking techniques known to us from Andean cultures. Despite numerous studies, its exact function remains a mystery to this day, and no one knows whether we will ever fully uncover its secrets. A Nuclear Reactor from Prehistoric Times The Chicago Pile 1 is considered the first functional nuclear reactor in history. Built in 1942, the first experimental reactors were part of the Manhattan Project, which famously led to the invention and construction of the atomic bomb. But what if we told you that in 1972, scientists stumbled upon a nuclear reactor that had been built much earlier? And we really mean much earlier, a whopping two billion years ago. Discovered in the Oklo uranium mine in Gabon, the remains of the nuclear reactor continue to fascinate experts to this day. Given that there was no sign of Homo sapiens two billion years ago, most experts agree that this must necessarily be a fusion formation. Basically, this mysterious structure consists of the following components. A relatively pure uranium plug with a high concentration of the radioactive isotope U-235, as well as organic compounds such as graphite or water, which slow down the neutrons produced by the uranium. Today, such a reactor could no longer be built because U-235 has simply become too rare. However, two billion years ago, the isotope still made up around 3% of natural uranium deposits, the concentration required for fission in a reactor. However, the discovery was so unexpected that the most adventurous theories about its true origins were soon put forward. From extraterrestrial test reactors to the work of an unknown pre-human species, there were virtually no limits to the speculation. These assumptions were ultimately fueled by a strange discovery made by physicist Alex Meshek and his colleagues from Washington University while investigating the reactor. Specifically, the scientists came across a strange pattern of xenon isotopes, which are byproducts of uranium fission, enclosed in the aluminum phosphate minerals around the reactor. The researchers noticed that the xenon isotopes were surprisingly rare in the short-lived intermediate stages. In other words, 
it appeared as if the reactor had been turned on and off regularly. The Antarctic Egg Where an indefinable something was detected in Antarctica, it eventually earned the telling nickname The Thing. And although The Thing came to light back in 2011, it took until 2020 before an international research team uncovered its true meaning. We now know that the object is actually a giant soft-shelled egg, but that's not all. Measuring approximately 29 by 20 centimeters, it is the largest known soft-shelled egg and the second largest egg ever found. However, the extremely thin parchment-like shell is very different from the thick shells of typical dinosaur eggs and is more reminiscent of those of modern reptiles such as snakes or lizards. Apart from that, however, the Antarctic egg does not have much in common with modern reptiles because it dates back to the Cretaceous period and it is likely to have been laid by a giant sea creature such as the Mosasaur. And that is, to put it mildly, unexpected. After all, researchers had previously assumed that such animals were exclusively viviparous. As a result, the find raises fundamental questions about the reproduction of large prehistoric marine reptiles and reveals seemingly contradictory behavior. Apparently, a giant reptile made its way onto land specifically to lay an egg with an extremely delicate shell. What's more, the extraordinary fossil lay unnoticed in Chile's Natural History Museum for years until a new examination finally revealed its true scientific significance. Ancient Seismograph It is the year 138 AD when, in Laoyang, a small ball falls from the mouth of a bronze dragon into the gaping throat of a frog. What at first glance sounds like an insignificant triviality actually confirmed the unparalleled sophistication of the Chinese polymath Zhang Heng. His seismograph had just registered an earthquake more than 640 kilometers away, and that despite the fact that none of those present had felt even the slightest tremor. The device, which was developed around 1700 years before the first seismographs in the Western world, consisted essentially of a motion-sensitive bronze vase. Eight dragon heads were placed on the vase, each holding a copper ball in its mouth and pointing in different directions. The aforementioned frogs crouched beneath the dragons. Even the slightest seismic tremor was enough to activate the hidden pendulum inside the vessel and release the balls from their holders. To find out where the earthquake came from, all you had to do was look at which frog's mouth the ball had landed in. Unfortunately, Zhang Heng's original invention no longer exists today. The examples on display in museums are replicas. In fact, it was not until 2005 that a team of Chinese researchers succeeded in constructing a working model of the ancient masterpiece. An Ancient Egyptian Propeller? In 1936, archaeologists were astonished when, while investigating the tomb of the ancient Egyptian official Sabu in the north of the Saqqara necropolis, they came across an extremely bizarre object that still fuels the wildest speculation today. Made of a very brittle, difficult-to-work natural stone, this mysterious grave offering has an almost futuristic design that simply does not seem to fit into ancient times. More precisely, it is a flat, round disc with three inwardly curved, crescent-shaped recesses and a deep scar in the middle. With a diameter of a good 60 centimeters, the so-called Sabu disc looks almost like a mechanical component but what machine could it have belonged to around 3000 BC? Well, apart from the alternative camp, the answer to this question is none, quite simply because machines in the modern sense did not exist at that time. However, since there are no inscriptions, illustrations, or texts that would explain the purpose of the Sabu disc, we do not know what it was used for. Some researchers see it as a ritual object, an oil lamp, a cult symbol, or part of a ceremonial vessel. However, if we venture into the bizarre world of pre-astronautics, we are confronted with terms such as steering wheel, ship's propeller, or even propeller. Unsurprisingly, such interpretations are far outside the realm of established archaeology. Mysterious Sandstone Vessels In 2022, archaeologists in the Indian state of Assam discovered 65 gigantic sandstone vessels that almost look as if they were used for the urn burials of giants. 
The containers, which weigh tons and are up to three meters high, were scattered across the landscape of remote hill regions and came in at a wide variety of shapes. Some were cylindrical, others were bulbous, but it was their placement that raised eyebrows among scientists. While some of the oversized artifacts are completely embedded in the ground, others protrude at an angle with their openings facing outwards, giving the impression that one should walk straight into them. However, there are no inscriptions or similar information, which is why we still cannot say who created the vessels or what they were used for. There are no historical records of their builders, no known settlements in the immediate vicinity, and no clues as to how they were made or how the heavy material was transported. In addition, some experts estimate that the objects date back to the second millennium BC, but we simply do not know which culture could have created them. But what, and this is perhaps the crucial question, is actually inside the colossal vessels? Well, nothing. In fact, all the containers were empty when they were rediscovered. However, since archaeologists had recovered human remains from similar jars in Laos, they assumed that the finds in Assam were also used for burial rites. On the one hand, it appears that the objects were once sealed, and on the other hand, their exposed location on ridges and hills suggests a ritual background. However, the origin of the material used to make the sandstone vessels remains a mystery, as it does not occur in the region itself. But there is something that does occur in the region shown in our video. Simply click on the thumbnail and subscribe so you never miss another post from us. See you soon!